He's like, I can do oh. this. I can do this. Talking. I can do this all blah, day blah. long. <laughs> and then can't do it. Like, I'll write you an email later. Uh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. oh there so it's about day. it's about writing <laughs> emails. There you go. Yeah. Emails. If you need emails. to know how to write them, I know. Welcome everyone to the first episode of the casual, comedic, flatulent <laughs> podcast. Smell that? By the Who Farted crew. I'm Josh, Lone Wolf Josh TV on everything, social platforms and all that. Right next to me we have daddy if you mm-hmm. want to introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm daddy Okay, uh, social <laughs> handles at all? <laughs> this is a lovely kickoff. Everything, anywhere you go, just put in my end profit. You'll find me. And it's spelled with the, 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 it's M-A-Y-A-N-P-R-O-F-I-T. Not the other way. Oh, my God. I forgot our other, sp- our other part of this is uh, go to fast food restaurant. Mine's Taco Bell. Daddy will go. Fast food's bad for you. Yeah. No, just say it. Just go. Well, it ain't Taco Bell. I'd say Wendy's. I'm going to say Wendy's. Wendy's? I get a lot okay. of chili. Yeah, chili's my favorite. Wax. Okay, I'm I'm earwax. <laughs> I'm earwax candy, also known as earwax, also known as wax, also known as best video game player. Uh, you can find me at earwaxcandy.com. From there, you can follow all my social media links: YouTube, Twitter, X, videos, all that stuff. Um, so if I, is sandwich places considered fast food? I mean, nobody's better than freaky fast delivery Jimmy John's, right? So I would say that's probably oh, my oh, uh, okay. It, is it fast food? I'll accept it, that okay, that so, is a fast food as a drive through So, so uh, yeah, I really like Hardee's, but they don't have a Hardee's in Northwest Arkansas. So it's just, we have to frequent McDonald's all the time. I got a crap ton of micro Mc, McDonald's points, like the McDonald's points where you get the free stuff. I get a free oh, happy yeah. meal every time I go. Cause I got so many points. I got one the of the gym- booba. I got a boo bucket. <laughs> yeah, we have boo buckets too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have, I have reservations with Jimmy Jones, but and I don't they take reservations. There. I don't mean going this to is... sit down. I, I, I have, wait, anyway. Hold on. They take reservations at Jimmy John's? No, no. This I have reservations. Oh, <laughs> uh, just you. Yeah. He got like this Jimmy so, John card. Okay. So for game. those listening, for those listening, um, Daddy-O, <laughs> you're going to hear a lot about that with Daddy-O. So Daddy-O is the guy that writes emails, angry emails and stuff, oh, yeah. and the grumpy, the grumpy responses and things. So get used to that. So uh, how about Steve for your introduction there, Steve? Uh, I'm Steve. You can find me everywhere at nonsense underscore Steve. Uh, and especially all my links are on the whofartedcrew.com. That's the easiest place to oh, yeah. find everything that I do. Go to fast food for me. Uh, it's got to be Portillo's because I'm a Chicago guy. So Ooh, he just likes big wieners. I, I, oh, oh so man. Good. So tasty. <laughs> I do like Italian sausage, though. I will say that. Who does? Yeah, all, all the stuff. And they just finally started coming down here to Texas. So. We're, we're extremely excited oh, about that. I don't know if we have one up here. I think they're about don't. to build one. We here, have a pot actually. bellies, but not a. Yeah. I love pot bellies. Pot bellies, are great yeah, sandwiches. Good too. The big wreck on wheat. Oh, man. Oh, yep. Yeah. Wreck. That's my go to oh, as well. Their chili yeah. is actually really good too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't tried theirs yep. yet. Mm-hmm. This is a great, great. Yeah. Because is that considered fast food? I feel like that's considered fast food, uh, right? Yeah. It doesn't have uh, a drive. I, I think it's considered fast casual. It's close like, enough. It like Chipotle. Now. Like it's Chipotle's fast casual as opposed to just like a fast food drive through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even though some of them have drive through options. <laughs> I, th- I think uh, Chipotle topic. is fast food. If, when you walk in, it's fast food. You just, you're like following your food, your order along, and then you get it yeah. and go. So, yeah. It's just how does it does that. it follow a rule of like if it has a drive through or does it have to be under like 10 minutes getting your food? Do you really want to? I don't know. Rule? I think Dude, it's fast I... casual because you get the food quickly, but they expect you to sit down and eat it as and opposed to something like a McDonald's or Burger King where you're eating it in your car. True. Great for because yeah, it's different. great for a stopping. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can we're eat get, that. We're getting God. a jack in the box here. Oh yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I, when you said Taco Bell, I was a little disappointed because I feel like I okay. 
I love well, Jack in the Box. We don't have any Jack in the Box here in Michigan. The closest Jack in the Box we have to us is five hours away in Cincinnati. So Cincinnati if, or St. Louis. At the moment, I mean, if a Jack in the Box comes in here, absolutely. But I got to put Taco Bell there only because accessibility. You know, That's I why I did the year. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the dumb thing about it is, what's that other, uh, uh, the other restaurant? that is here that is Chipotle's um... Qdoba. Yeah, yeah. they yep. own Jack in the Box. That's the same company. And they and ain't got no Jack in the Box Qdobas up here. Around here. Well, doesn't oh. Warren Buffett just own all of them, though? <laughs> uh, Warren Buffet? Yeah, no, not I'd old country buffet. Not, not old country buffet. Oh, yeah, let's not get it. Let's not get into old country oh. buffet. Okay. Oh, what about Golden Corral? Is Golden that fast Corral. food? I mean, you get it fast. It just comes right off the it, buffet. It oh, also comes right. out fast. Right. After yes. you <laughs> eat it. Especially if you eat the green Jello. All right. So now that you know everybody, uh, we're gonna go into talking about what everybody thinks. The actual podcast is about smell that, huh, Daddyo? What what would you say that this podcast is all about? It's a good place where I don't get to get stepped on. I can tell you, say what I want. We're just There's, going I, at I, it. What the hell? They, <laughs> that's, that's, on see, a lot, Daddyo, I don't I see. Don't yeah, understand. baby. That's where you get the the Daddyoisms. Like, We're gonna have Daddyoisms on the show. Is, when you ask me questions face to face, I don't get it. When when we're talking about stuff, I can I'm more on my feet guy. I'm not <laughs> I'm not one to you sit there and ask me a question. I'll say something, then later on I'll come up like Jack in the Box would be my favorite fast food restaurant, but they don't have any here. So when you ask that question, it all right, Grandpa. Um, I, I was, was just saying, just give us a funny well, answer. Just give us a funny answer of what you think the podcast is about. Something ridiculous right off the top of your head. Go. (laughs) I don't know. He's like, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this all day long. (laughs) And then can't do it. I'll write you an email later. Uh, Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's about about (laughs) writing emails. There you go. If you need to know how to write them, I know how to write them. Hey, I am the expert at email, so I get results. What do, we, what do you think, Steve? Uh, well, you kind of stole my thunder, daddy because what I think Shh. the podcast is is just a perfect way for us to record you and all your nonsense. Just have oh. a record of it and let everybody else in on the fun conversations that we get to have behind the scenes. I thought nonsense was your tagline. I mean, technically speaking, yes, <laughs> but that's just a general, general nonsense. Oh, okay. So this is more daddyism nonsense. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Daddyoisms in general. <laughs> How about earwax? What do you All got? right. So I've been thinking about this for a few days now, and I got to thinking that, like, kind of like on the same tone as Steve, it's like we have these conversations, and I'm like, man, we should like share this stuff with other people, but mostly because I have a lot of things to talk about that you guys just don't care to listen to. And so what better platform than to just throw it out on the internet for everyone else to listen to? Uh, I thought you were saying what better way to force us to listen to it. Oh, and yeah. And of course yeah. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm, so, you have to listen yeah. to it at this point. Right. So all the links that I share in discord that you guys mm-hmm. don't actually click on all that stuff. I'm just going to start talking about it here instead. And then, right. Now you're stuck for an hour. Like ASMR Baby ASMR. Bell wax eating videos. Abs- yes. Wax explosions of Baby Bell cheese in your mouth. Like, It'd be amazing. Uh, you can just name this first episode that. It's... So now you're saying there's going to be a quiz on the links you post now? <laughs> yeah, there, you <laughs> oh, there you go. Good one, and then just did move you, on from it. Did you, did, you, uh, did you read those? Okay, I guess we'll talk about them. All right, Let's God. just go. Now you got homework. What a terrible Your homework. Terrible Josh question. is giving me homework with the sheet. Now you're giving me homework having to click links. So much damn homework. Clicking links. Disgusting links. Just mm. links that go absolutely nowhere. And just Yeah, I don't click any of those links. Want, because, don't want to yeah, go down those rabbit holes. They don't go to where earwax is showing. It shows, goes to some live person fishing in a river with a net, and he's got a stick in there. You've got to get the stick. <laughs> 
out of his net. That's what it was. I was like, what the heck was that? What are you and, talking about? <laughs> that link you had, it went through a lot. <laughs> and then I had to go back and click it again, and then it showed the baby bell lady. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, you That's got the wrong, yeah, you got the wrong link. <laughs> you got yeah. the wrong link. Well, this never <laughs> happened on TikTok before. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. I'll click Instagram. a link that you guys have shared. It goes to yeah. TikTok. It's the wrong video. Is it TikTok? And yeah, I can video. tell because the the like... the link in Discord has like the you know the little picture that pops up and shows you yeah. what yeah. it's supposed to be. And it's not that. And I'm like, why is this girl half no, that's not it. Wrong link. <laughs> Yeah, so it'll I'm always open to some it. random generic yeah. video and say like, oh, you should log in on the app. And then you have to click it again to actually yeah. get to the video you want to see. Yeah. yeah, fix your fix your stuff. Too sucks. Trying to figure out how wax it was posted last night. I clicked on it and it goes to a live stream. I said, how the hell did he know he was going to be fishing there? Just, that yeah. Time? <laughs> you go find somebody's schedule <laughs> he's been fishing all night long daddy oh that so with the time change he was able to stay up longer and yeah. fish and that's that's why got a bonus hour of fishing <laughs> yeah oh boy actually it was just him pulling stick out of the net it was like what <laughs> he was like a fishing net he wasn't he was calling the waters for whatever was in there and he got it boy well, I was um, I was gonna say that I think the show is gonna be a lot like cake farts, only for your ears, and, uh, and um, without any like really nice looking butts on cakes. Is that what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? What is cake? That's farts? exact. <laughs> you know what cake farts is? No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just because you tell me I do doesn't mean yeah. I know what it is. Like I'm sure I'm pretty sure at some point you've sent them in our chat before too. You just cake farts? You just throwing yeah, are you can I Google this? You're oh here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cake yeah, fart it up. It. It's cake it's farts, me. but for your ears. Like listening style. Cake farts, right. but with the yeah. So you don't get to see people f actually farting on cakes but you get to hear like our nonsense which has already started off great by the way yeah this is great <laughs> great first episode he's for free for everybody listening um he's staring at his phone intently with a very strange look on his face <laughs> oh, it, well there's a know your meme and it like it talks about it's like something from like 10 years ago or something oh yeah it's oh like, it, yeah it's been around a long time yeah I'm surprised featuring, the king oh, of memes doesn't a, know about cake farts. Featuring you know I mean? a video clip of a woman breaking wind on a frosted cake. Oh, it wasn't oh. just one. It was like a full series. They they spun it off in a whole yeah, bunch it, of it stuff. Turned, yeah, it led to the creation of dozens of reaction videos on YouTube. <laughs> dozens? <laughs> just dozens, not a lot. Like, oh, it, the, yeah. she was naked, too. The, well, yeah, it was That's more so said, about farting on a cake, but... And then it's spun off into all different directions, and There's you, you can probably imagine. Here, but, yeah. You can probably the internet okay. ultimately will always <laughs> spin into that direction. <laughs> Absolutely, hundred percent. Is she wearing a G <laughs> string? Would that sound different? I guess so, I don't uh, know about that. <laughs> first segment is going to be all up to Steve here, since we don't want to go down the road of uh, oh, no, yeah. googling just things. Of... That quickly, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Please kick it off for us, Steve. Like uh, well, I figured since it's the first episode of the podcast, uh, I'm the new guy here, so I actually don't even know the answer to this question. So where did who farted crew come from? <laughs> so who did Anybody you... want to take that? Well, well, that was that, well, basically that was all me. Um, that, well, well kind, hang on. it was a group well, effort. Let's go through the whole was, story here. Let's go through the whole pub, story. Yeah, it was a PUBG tournament that was hosted by, I think, the Microsoft Store. Yeah. Back during the mixer days. And I believe the first time we I I used it was with Boomba on a because you guys joined in on the, the next tournament. So Boomba and I were on this tournament for for PUBG and we were like, I gotta come up with this name. And oh, I'm like, yeah. and it was just who farted was mm -hmm. the name of the the team. Mm -hmm. So then the announcers, of course, are going, well, over here we've got who farted, and you've got the guy going, huh? And so they're like, you know, play, playing that thing off back and forth. And then from there, it kind of transitioned to Sea of Thieves, 
and the who the whole crew thing, the who farted crew, and it just basically that's. But it originated from a PUBG yeah. tournament that we right. had. To, I had to come up with some names. So. I wasn't for, for, well, that tournament either. From from no, well, hang on. From what I remember, I remember it just slightly differently because this again, this is this is a long time ago. Was, by the yeah, way, this is years ago. Mixer. We've we've always had like who farted like in the background of everything, and then now started the last couple of years started to spin it up into something. So from what I remember, it was a tournament that was organized by one of our friends. She wanted to get us into the, into the tournament because she needed a few more spots to fill, and we thought it would be funny if the announcers were announcing the who farted team. Like it, it was a, so similar thing. But from what I remember, it was us three that came up with it because we were, we were trying to figure out something that was hilarious for the commentators to say, because we are in no right, uh, a PUBG pro MLG <laughs> player, like mediocre at best. So we knew we weren't, you know, it was so if they cut to us and they started talking about us, we wanted to at least leave a mark. We wanted to leave a mark with the who farted name. And um, funny thing is, is also, I know I've been saying this a lot from what I remember um, in that tournament, daddy -O died like almost remember. instantly after dropping in. I, I think from, from what I remember, uh, Tell you exactly he I was hit by a car, but and Earwax so and I had to finish that tournament. I, <laughs> I remember. No, hang on. He was hit by a car, driven by another team, while Josh and I were in the passenger seat. <laughs> yes. So we were in the car with Coming with the me. other yeah. team, and they with ran. Your and, names. He was and, trying <laughs> to get into the car. He was trying to get in the car. And they deliberately ran me over he because did. they were on a different team. We were. He didn't driving. know that another team was driving yeah. the vehicle, also and got me. run over. So me and Earwax had to finish the. I, I don't think we did too bad in that tournament. It was from what I remember. We did okay. Yeah. All I know is I've had I've got four solo chicken dinners. <laughs> that we don't need to worry about that. That game's absolute trash. I now, know, so but it, it, yeah, I, we don't I, have to worry about that. Yeah, that was when it was just PUBG. Now it's Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Battlegrounds, Un Battlegrounds Underground. Yeah, it's colon Battlegrounds. Public. Who's colon? Pu Your colon. Player, player Unknowns. Public guy. Battlegrounds. Player unknowns. <laughs> player Pub unknowns. Colon. Player unknown. Oh, okay. Battlegrounds. Colon. And battlegrounds. Then, so the second part okay. <laughs> was to, to better get to know all of us as a group. Uh, where do our handles come from? Now, Josh, yours is probably the easiest one. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I. So I did have a different one <laughs> before <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> it was drunk on shadows without. Well, the, only nope. the O in the middle. <laughs> He couldn't buy the vowels. So no, no vowels. So it was D R N K O N S H D W S. Dirk, Dirk. And um, that was a hymn song that. Um, so I've had that name for a very long time, and I was just like, I'm just gonna spin with it. You know, I'm just gonna keep going with it. And um, after the whole mixer thing ended, after a while, I wanted to uh, to change it to something where I could just use my name. So. There's the Lone Wolf Josh TV. So I could just, so now you could just call me Josh. If you see my name, you know, I have a username that's Lone Wolf Josh TV, but you know, you could just shorten it to Josh. You know, it's pretty, pretty easy for that. But how about Daddy O? Everybody wants to know your Daddy O. Oh, but God. it's my also. Problem. But when I first started playing, like on the Wii or whatever, I always put Daddy O in and then uh, whatever. I look come to Microsoft, I finally got an account on Microsoft, and Daddy always take it. The name Mind Profit is in a book I wrote that didn't do so well because it was one of those kind of scam things, I guess, where they, oh, hey, we'll take it, and uh, we'll pay for all the printing, and you get a percentage of it, and I got, I think I got $20 total out of the whole thing, so. Hmm. Anyways, but there's a, a band in the book it's called the Mayan prophets and they all have like, you know, names of prophets like Nostradamus and whatever. So there's a, whatever. So that's where I took that name from. Then I tried to go back on Microsoft to see if this daddy O character was still on. 
and he hadn't you know hadn't done nothing he hadn't played it in like five six years and they still you know i i sent him an angry email it wasn't an angry email <laughs> but i sent him an email or a, a you know a message saying that hey i want this name it says as long as they don't as long as they have it they have to go on and officially cancel it because yeah. it hasn't been on it for six years so anyways i'm daddy oh but my uh, everything is mine profit with the pro f i t and i think the uh the daddy o name really took off with uh mixer mixer Beam. yeah with, i'm sorry with beam, beam slash mixer really took we so on mixer we did a lot of things that like really <laughs> gain traction as kind of funny things which i'm sure we'll get to that but daddy was the one thing everybody knew like he would jump into people's chats as my and profit but everybody called him daddy oh yeah he, everybody at the conventions knew him as daddy oh so like he became well known as daddy oh so <laughs> it's kind of funny a long time ago the xbox 360 days i was known as kool-aid man 217 <laughs> Um, oh, so, <laughs> which some of you guys probably why would you know change this. that? <laughs> so I, so, I didn't know that. Right. Holy so, crap! Obviously, and numbers in the name too. Growing Holy up, crap. well, yeah, but yeah, but that's the area. I grew up in the two one seven area code, so it was cool. <laughs> oh, name two one seven. Oh, 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 yeah. So, so, Said. Yeah, yeah. So, um, one night late, like I don't know, after a, a Halo binge or whatever the hell it was we were playing at the time. We started coming up with different like gamer tags, like and on the Xbox you could just like pick one and it would say whether it was available or not. And I said, "How about earwax candle?" Now this is pre Shrek. This is pre when those paper cones were being shoved in people's ears, right? Uh-huh. So I had earwax candle for a very long time too. And then Shrek came around and what the paper cones What's and. That? What's a paper? The sh- earwax candles? You ever heard of ear candling? Yeah, oh, God, it's gross. Where they stick? Never you mind. take like a like a it's ice gross. cream cone paper, mm-hmm. and like stick it in your ear, and then light it on fire, and it like the it's Why? supposed to like it's it, like, <laughs> it's like melts hollow. all the wax it's out to, of your ear. It's supposed to pull the wax out of your ear, but then yeah. if you actually just oh. take one and burn it on your countertop without putting it in your ear, there's still wax in it. Huge uh, scam. <laughs> Anyways, so. <laughs> Earwax candle became a thing, and people are like, oh, you mean like those things you stick in here? And I'm like, no. Oh, you mean like Shrek? No. So I'm like, well, what's worse? <laughs> Earwax candy. I'm like, and then it's kind of a persona at this point, too, because I'm also bitter. <laughs> Just like the taste of earwax. For I those of you that don't know, like. if you're sitting in your car listening to this right now, take your finger, stick it in your ear, stick it in your don't, mouth. Find out. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that don't do that oh. little, it took hey, what less than a half hour into this podcast to get terrible advice already wow that's amazing that's like, a, that's got to be a record of some a little, kind. just so. give just give it a little taste there yeah no just don't do stick that. it in your ear and suck on your finger and give back in the game you know <laughs> but yeah that's kind of where and then you know my my name's jeff it's hard to have that as a name now because of my name Jeff, you know, so and then everyone just kind of calls me Wax and I'm like, if I change my name, you're still going to call me Wax or Earwax or whatever. So it's just kind of at this point, it's like, what's the point of changing it? Um, I mean, I don't know. All the girls. Call you could call me at you could call me apparition. <laughs> I'll ghost your ass. You know, I don't whatever. Oh, I don't boy. <laughs> nice. So anyways. All right. Am I last then? I mean, yeah, go for it. Yeah, 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 go. So that's that's all you. I'm nonsense, Steve. Uh, The nonsense of nonsense, Steve, is because I own a fantasy sports company called Important Nonsense. So it's real easy. My name is Steve and nonsense for the company. So it's connected. Really boring. Before that, for years, my first gamer tag on Xbox was uh, DJ Chup Chup. So the the story. (laughs) behind DJ Chup Chup was uh, my sister-in-law, who is now 18. She was born the year that me and my wife started dating. And I was actually like her babysitter. 
So I would watch her through college, and she used to call ketchup chup chup all the time. So I would go hang out with this toddler and ask me for chup chup all day with her chicken nuggets and french fries. And then I'd go back to the dorms, hang out with my friends, you know, have a few beverages, play some some video games. And one night we were eating chicken tenders at two in the morning, kind of trashed. And I was like, hey, man, uh, pass me to Chup Chup. And that was it. I was just DJ Chup Chup to everybody from that point forward. Just stuck with me for a long time. Do you have friends that call you that? Uh, I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah. So you still I, DJ? So the DJ part of it came <laughs> from I was the guy who was always in charge of the music for all of our house parties in college. Oh. So yeah. I was DJ Steve to everyone. And then Until, after the Chup Chup incident, it became DJ Chup Chup. I was always in charge of the coats. What does that even mean? I'm sorry. That's a Seinfeld. I know Steve got it. Oh, no. Seinfeld <laughs> reference. Uh. So, so like my 217 friends call me mm-hmm. Jefferson because that's – that that's was a street here in Detroit. That was like my street name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jefferson. Oh, that's so. our street name too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So that's yeah. a good gauge of like who's actually going to be the first ones to listen to this podcast because now the mm-hmm. view or the listeners are going to be I almost said viewers, but we're on listening now stuff. Um, <laughs> ah, so now <laughs> we told you together. there would be a quiz after. They're going to be. Um, so. They're gonna be calling you DJ Chup Chup now. Anybody, the 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 real ones are gonna be calling That's you right. Chup Chup. Yeah. What's up, Chup Chup? Right. Chup, Chup. <laughs> Chup Chup. What Chup? What do you think about that chat? Yeah. Chad. <laughs> Is it Chad or Chat? It's, Chad. it's still Chad. Chad. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, we have to get used to the uh, the audio. Mm-hmm. segments here because th- <laughs> there's a lot of things that that are happening in the videos that you got like earwax's expression when he was looking up cake parts and <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, a second there when steve said dj chup chup he brought out a notebook and he started writing it down <laughs> i might have and nobody out a notebook. nobody saw that so yeah. I, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. isn't that what ready. wicked says in star wars chup chup dj chup chup yeah no he doesn't say dj he just says chup chup Maybe he wanted ketchup. I'm going to go back and check the scene. Was he eating at the time? What's, what is scene? What are you talking about? Wicked. He goes, chup, chup. Oh, That's I didn't how know. they talk. The, yeah, this, you go watch Wicked? It. The musical? No for me. <laughs> nah, I don't watch it. Hey, get the earwax movies. out of your candy, buddy. Well, at this point, most of the movies. people who know me or you know still call me uh, DJ Chup Chup, I'm just associated with them through like Facebook. And I know Wax has an interesting Facebook story that he wants to get into. I so what do. do you what do you got? All right. So you guys do know, like recently I we went to IKEA and bought the wife a new desk stuff and I had to like build this shit. Like it took, I don't know, two, three weeks. It's still an ongoing process. She's still buying stuff for the desk. So well, she had a desk to begin with. This gigantic, like six hundred pound L shape with a hutch that she listed for sale on Facebook. And if you've ever listed anything for sale on Facebook, uh, you get bombarded <laughs> with messages. Is this available? Mm-hmm. Would do you take Zell? You know, all these like scam things, right? So she ends up with this one that's like, hey, my dad wants this. Can you text him? And I, we know right away that this is a scam. And I'm like, you know what though? I like to have fun with these people. So I text the guy and say, hey, you know, your daughter has said that you want to buy the desk. And so he replies back with, can you send me pictures? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I send some pictures. How much do you want? And I said, $1,200. And he's like, all right, I will mail you a check. And when you get it, you pay the movers and then they'll take it. I'm like, all right, sounds good. So this goes on. He's like, he's texting me constantly. Are you getting my text messages? Are you getting my text messages? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm getting your text messages. So, so he sends me a tracking number. It's on the, the checks on its way. I'm like, all right, cool. So it's supposed to show up on like a Wednesday and I'm, cause I've been tracking this thing through, you know, USPS, right? So on a Tuesday I get a check in the mail 
but I'm still seeing the tracking supposed to be on Wednesday. So I'm like, oh, this must be a different check because it's also from the same bank that my mortgage is through. And so I deposit it. And then Wednesday, I get the check stub from this guy of the same check. And I go, oh, shit. So I have deposited his check. And I so I call my bank and I'm like, hey, I screwed up. Like, is there any way to reverse this deposit? And they're like, it's been 24 hours. No. And they're like, in a few days, it'll just bounce back and say it was fraudulent. I'm like, can you just put a note or something? I don't want to be like held reliable. I'm like, obviously you've deposited the money, take it back out. It's fine. No big deal. And I'm like, is there any penalties? And they're like, no, we don't charge penalties or anything like that. I'm like, all right, cool. So no sweat off my back. This guy is hounding me through text messages for days. Like he texts me at like 6:30 in the morning on a Saturday. Are you getting my text messages? Did you deposit the money? Did you cash them? And I'm like, I told, so I texted him back. I'm like, yeah, man, I cashed it. I said, I just got off work. It's, you know, I'm going to take a nap. I was like, the bank don't open till noon. You know, he's like, I need you to, I need you to get uh, a check and mail it to this address, this PO box for the movers. And then I need you to send a picture of it. So that way they know and they could come and get it. So in the meantime, my wife has already sold the desk <laughs> and I have videos of the guys carrying it out of the house. So I send this guy a text message and said, Hey man, I, 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 I took the check over there. I said, I don't know how they knew already, but they already came and got it. And so I sent him screenshots from my cameras of the movers moving the desk. I'm mm -hmm. like, they've already taken it out of the house. I said, thanks for doing business and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And so he like, he doesn't respond. <laughs> so then like I get a message, like an email, like the next day from the bank, my bank going, Hey, you know, this checks fraudulent, blah, blah. So I send him a screenshot and I said, Hey, your check came back fraudulent. I need you to get a hold of me. I need my money back <laughs> that I've already given to these fake movers of yours that were actually our, are the real people that bought it. <laughs> so I send him, are you still getting my text messages? Cause that's the same thing he sent me over and over again. Are you getting my messages? Are you getting my Flipped messages? it on him. And he still hasn't responded. So if mm. for some reason he happens to be listening to this, if um, you're out there, I would like to have my $3,500 that you owe me for a desk <laughs> that I've already been paid for from other people. So anyways, don't fall for check scams on the internet. Pay really close attention to things you deposit in your. What about account. if it comes from that's Mr. Like, Beast? That's legit. Yeah, right? and then today oh, the wife, that was yeah. that was from Dude. the wife. So like, it's <laughs> she goes. So here's how that started. So we have a friend who raised on a farm named Beast that played a, <laughs> played a game against my. Mm -hmm. She was seven at the time, six, five. I don't know. It was years ago, <laughs> um, and he bet her ninety dollars. She bet him ninety dollars that she could beat him, and he took the bet, and she actually did beat him at Gang Beasts. And so today, tonight, she's like, "Beast still owes me ninety dollars," and I'm like, "God, it's been like six years, and you're still bringing this up." <laughs> and right as she says that, my wife goes, "Beast, I got an email from him today," and I'm like, "I haven't talked to Beast in weeks." Like, I'm gonna talk. She's like, "No, no, no, Beast, something. Hang on, let me find it." And so she pulls up this this email, and it says it's from Mr. Beast. And I'm like, that is not Mr. Beast. I'm like, first of all, it, the email address ends in Wix.com. I'm like, that's a fake web. Like, that's one of those generic websites that you can go make a template from. And reading this, I'm like, that's a 217 area code number on, on the damn phone number. I'm like, I don't know who that is, but I'm half tempted to call. Yeah, Illinois. Yeah, it's, well, that's where I'm from. So, yeah. so I'm oh, like, okay. this doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to I'm going to block off her email address on this and I'm just going to post it to Twitter and tag Mr. Beast and be like, hey, man, this you and see if he responds. And so and how I'm cool Mr. Would it be Beast did, trying uh, to give you charity <laughs> is the yeah. new I'm a Saudi prince and I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> email me back. <laughs> like, That's what that is. Yeah. So anyways, just yeah, there's so many scams out there, but I, I but, somewhat I, I had no intention to ever send this man money. And I had no intention to cash the check, right? But I, because it had the same bank as my mortgage and I was expecting a check from them anyways, I just assumed that's what it was and I deposited it. And then the next day I get this thing and I open it up and the wife goes, that's the same amount from the one you deposited yesterday. And I, I turned ghost white. I was just like, shit. Like I, I was beside myself. So 
Anyways, that's my the, Facebook. Go ahead. The the picture that you sent uh-huh. uh, in our chat, the email address also had like. 30 like <laughs> letters and numbers and yeah, stuff yeah. and then it was at wix.com so yeah. it was, yeah. it was yeah. like <laughs> that is that looks like a GUID. like i don't know if you guys know right. that. like randomly generated mm-hmm. keys for and it not only that but it says jimmy j-i-m-y right. <laughs> <laughs> hey like, i spelled my name right yeah <laughs> That's that's the name on the email address, but then in the actual the the email text it says Jimmy with two M's. But yeah, it says, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, it's like you can check my. Like, YouTube. You know what? I, I I'm Beast. not positive, but I feel like Mr. Beast could afford a legitimate email. Oh I don't yeah, feel. I, that's kind <laughs> of I'm, at mrbeast.com. You know, that's something. I I just felt like I'm like man, Wix.com. He's really stretching mm-hmm. it out there now these days, huh? So, I mean, maybe maybe he's running out of money. Who knows? (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, (laughs) what a nerds. Oh, speaking of nerds. Speaking of nerds. Okay, so. (laughs) All right, so I figured uh, we could also do a couple of news segments uh, during our podcast as well. The first being the nerd news segment. Uh, So what I have this week it's it's my segment, so I'm going to be talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and how it is in shambles. Apparently, the MCU has some serious problems, um, along with the Jonathan Majors incidents and things that, that are ongoing. The executives, executives reportedly considered bringing back the original Avengers team. That's how bad the situation is right now with the MCU. And... I mean, personally, I've enjoyed the shows uh, myself, but I could see in this context how, like, Endgame, Avengers Endgame was, like, it was this culmination of this something that has been brewing for years and years and years, and they made Thanos into this big bad guy, and it was, like, Endgame was the end of that, that phase and it was like this big gigantic event that spanned all these different movies and things and shows and little shorts and all that stuff after that ended i feel like it's been trying to throw things at the wall and it doesn't work and they're trying to they're trying other things and while these shows are great and stuff and i love them there's nothing that seems like a thanos level threat right now and you could say kang right now but with all the issues that are going on right now with Jonathan Majors, it's like, I, who knows what's the the big rumor was is that they were gonna pivot from Kang to Doctor Doom, which would be awesome, but also leave a hole for like the Kang storyline. Um, Daddy, any any thoughts on the, yeah, the MCU? Yeah, him. Uh, I don't. You know what? And you you. Uh... You you don't care for some of the characters and I like well, Mrs. Marvel. I watched that. That was a great series. The writing was awesome in that. But you, what did you think? It was like a teen show or something. I I just uh, from from like the commercials and I, stuff that I was watching. I just wasn't. It just didn't seem like my thing. It so I was, just didn't watch it. So it was good. It's a little bit different. But the reason why I started watching it is because we were playing. Um, what was that? The Marvel game on. Marvel Avengers. Yeah, we were pl- yeah we were playing Avengers on. on- yeah. <laughs> yeah, could- yeah, we got so many different games out now, but we were playing that, and I I really got good at playing Miss Marvel on that, so that's why I watched the show, and it it turned out to be pretty good. And they're-, they're coming out with the Marvels that they had to do reshoots galore, but yeah, I I actually am interested in seeing that. It's a good. St- it's a good concept where one of them uses their powers and they all switch. So I don't know. I have no idea of the comic books that are out there now. So this is all, that's all new. So I don't, I, I kind of look at all these superhero uh, movies for entertainment. And if it doesn't keep me entertained, I don't care for them, but they've all, all the Marvel stuff is pretty good. I, I, the, the one that I really enjoyed was Moon Knight. Currently, I'm enjoying Loki this oh. season too. But Moon Knight, to me, I know there was some mixed reviews about it, the, but I actually had 
a great time with Moon Knight. I I had to power through the first episode and a half, but then I started. Jason, I Jason, is it Isaac? What's his name? Isaac. Oh gosh, the, I'm drawing a blank. Guy. Yeah, I know. But Alexander. He's a great. Alexander. <laughs> no, what? No, Jason Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Oscar oh. Isaac. Yeah. Oscar Isaac. He's really good. He did, he pulled it off. It's that the whole the whole thing where I thought anyway. The multiple personality thing was just such a cool element and he did such a good job at making it feel like they were completely separate characters. Um, I don't want to spoil the ending because you should definitely oh, yeah. go watch it if you haven't seen it, but um, <laughs> he definitely yeah. pulled it off. Steve, any thoughts on the MCU at all? Favorites, shows? No, mm-hmm. not really. Uh, so this, this is going to be controversial. Ooh. I already oh, know. Controversial. <laughs> uh, I, I have seen the three Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and that's it. I have not watched any oh. of the rest of the, the MCU. That's not it just, too shabby. It got to a point where I was falling behind on the movies, and then they were all just connected, and it yeah. became so much of a task to have to go back and watch everything that I just watched nothing. So... Man, I th- so I thought legit like up the whole like up to the end game was like really connected, mm-hmm. and I think it was like epically cinematic and totally worth a watch if you ever get to go back and watch if you if yep. you enjoy those characters and stuff it's totally worth a watch. Yeah. And cool thing, shout out to Disney Plus, they have a, like a little playlist they do. that has the the timeline for everything that you can go back and watch. You yeah. can skip some yep. shows and stuff like, but. The ma- the movies are the big part, and and so when you go and watch those movies, mm-hmm. and then you, after Endgame you start to watch those movies, it's I feel like you'll be able to understand what I'm saying is like it's like it's mm-hmm. all over the place. Like yeah, the, the they just don't have anything to like bring it all together like they did with the first the first phase or the whatever yeah. the Thanos phase era the Ther- Thanos era was. I like that it's all connected and there's Easter eggs to stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just haven't, I haven't taken the time to go through all of it. That's interesting though, because I know there's people out there that feel the exact same way, right? Like yep. maybe earwax. Just I feel like, like earwax lot. is the same thing where he's like, I don't know. Who cares? I, I mean, I've seen most of the, like the main movies, but like the shows I can't keep up with there's too much it's like like steve has said they're all connected it's the same thing they do with star wars once disney took over star wars it's like you just can't keep up with it anymore it's it's not i mean it's so hard to it's so hard to just keep up with it especially when there's you know there's eight different shows now and it's like it's kind of the same thing they did with um the flash on the cw like you we were really big into that and then they were like, oh, now you have to go watch Arrow. Arrow. And I'm like, I don't want to yeah. watch Arrow. I don't have a clue yeah. what's going on there. Just some dude that like runs around like Robin Hood and shit. I don't care about this guy, you know? Yeah. That's it. So I, we stopped watching The Flash because I'm like, I don't know what's going on because they went and did an episode somewhere else. It's like, just stick to one story line and stop doing all this nonsense, joining stuff up. I don't know, man. Um, not to be a... A huge nerd or anything, but Arrow was first, and they called it the Arrowverse. So, um, yeah, you're, you're but, all and the way plus off there. the uh, the Flash, <laughs> the Flashverse too. I got to go back and watch that because they brought a bunch of the um, former actors that played characters, and they just mixed it in. It just said it was Earth One or Earth Two or whatever, Earth Two Thousand. Yeah. But that was cool. You could see uh, Brandon Roche back as Rush Rosh. Roche, how are you pronounce his name? He plays he played Ant Man. Or no, the what was he? He was the guy that shrank down really small. The Adam. The Adam. He played yeah. the Adam in, but he was Superman in um I guess it was one of them. Was it just Super Superman Yeah, it was Returns? Superman Returns, yeah. Yeah, so and with then Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, I mean, the really casting good. and stuff for that movie was, I mean, yeah. was good, but it, just the writing was really bad. And he was a good Superman. It just it was different. But I, we're, I we're starting to venture into DC now. So it's like... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I get what you're Nerd. saying, though, Wax. Because, like, yeah. it's the same. I follow all the Star Wars stuff. And mm. I hadn't watched uh, Book of Boba Fett because I fell, like, four or five oh. episodes b- behind. Yeah. And then the people that I had talked to about it were like, oh, you know, it's not as good as Mandalorian. You just, just keep watching Mandalorian. It would be a waste of your time to go back. So I watched the first two episodes of the new season of The Mandalorian, and I'm like, wait, what the hell is happening? I feel like I'm missing backstory, yep. and I had to go back and watch the whole season of Book of Boba Fett because it's all connected, and it's all, you know, woven together. So yeah, I, I feel I, like a lot of the MCU stuff is exactly like that, and it's just so much at this oh, point. Yeah. It I feels feel like overwhelming. Once, once Disney gets a hold of something like that, then it's like, this is the way. Yeah. <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> the book of boba fett they had one episode that was just like straight up mandalorian that's the only <laughs> one that was worth the, shit oh, the yeah. entire exactly. series so yeah i was I like just, oh this is why i, I missed so much stuff because mm-hmm. there's one a whole full mandalorian episode, episode in this <laughs> yeah. whole series made no part, sense but whatever the yeah. one part in the mandalorian and then it was at the i think this the last episode of the book of boba fett was when they went to get the sheriff from that one outlying yeah. uh town timothy oliphant and he played mm-hmm. the character that he played in that uh, show that i liked um uh, shoot he were he's a kentucky justified justified justified, justified. Yeah. Yeah. i love that show that news that six episode one was eh but they're talking about bringing that back because of the movie. But the, he played the the sheriff. And he had Boba Fett's armor in in the um, Mandalorian, and then mm-hmm. at the end they were getting everybody together to you know do whatever. I don't want to say it, but but they went to get him, and uh, there was another character from the video game that yeah. met him first, which was awesome too. That was pretty awesome. That I feel okay. Just to wrap this this part up, um, I feel like the Star Wars shows have gotten it right. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, the movies, the trilo- the 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 trilogy, the most recent trilogy, not great, but the shows have gotten it right. Um, I feel like the Marvel Marvel has a lot of things to work through right now. I don't think it would be a good idea to bring back the original Avengers team. But you definitely need to find a way to make things work together and and find those 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 stars. Like I would say, Tom Hiddleston is probably your your biggest guy right now, and because Loki is like carrying things right now. Like I, I feel like that show is so well done, so well done. I was thinking, since we brought up the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I this is going to be a fun topic because I really I'm really interested to see what people's answers are on this one. If you had any you could have any superpower ever in whatever comics or whatever it would be whatever superpower you could think of, but only use it for boring or mundane tasks, what would it be that you would that you would pick? And I think for me, I would pick telekinesis, but only to stop spiders or crawling creatures like centipedes or something from moving so that you could either put them in a little thing and throw them outside or just smash the crap out of them. Oh my just, God. Just like, or there was one more that, that I thought, there was one more that I thought of today. What if you could see the future, but only for the cables, the extra cables and electronics that, that you aren't going to use that you can discard later on? Ooh. Like, <laughs> do I need this cable? <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah, there you go. Stop and throw it away. Uh, it just saves so much room in this drawer. Oh, hmm. So there's two for me. I still uh, have cables hooked up that I don't use on a computer. There's like 50 of them back there. It's just yeah, go like off into nowhere. <laughs> I thought that would be a good one because I was, I was actually going through all the cables today and trying to throw stuff out. So I was like, what if I could think like, do I really need this or do I, you know, how about Steve? You got one? Uh, okay. So a, a superpower that I could use, but that it would be for a really boring purpose. Uh, I would love to be able to freeze time so that I could just go to sleep 
and then just sleep in and not have to worry about an alarm and then just wake up on time. <laughs> like a snooze? So I, so yeah, so I could go to bed <laughs> and just freeze time, sleep for 10 hours, but really I was only asleep for, you know, like five minutes and then just <laughs> continue on with my day. I don't know. <laughs> Extremely I don't know. powerful superpower. I think you'd be yeah. a villain if you did that. <laughs> just want to nap. Way too, I don't yeah, know I just, how I just you want to take a nap. I just want to take a nap. <laughs> that's quick it. Nap. I, I, Maybe I just want to take nap. a nap, knows? and that's it. Without that sleeping through stuff. Doesn't affect anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that. Yeah. yeah. Earwax is thinking. He's got a really I, solid I, thinking yeah, face I, on right I'm, now. Yeah, so... I don't know. You were talking about like the whole telekinesis thing and stopping mm -hmm. bugs and stuff. And I'm like, oh, oh that's yeah. cool. Cause you like, you could use telekinesis for other things. Like, <laughs> right. Hey, I don't have, that's to what I'm saying. My... It was hard to think of something where it's like, yeah. I would have that power, but what would I only use it for? That would be for <laughs> like, I mean, like it'd be great to like, just be lazy and not have to like slide the chair over to get a drink mm -hmm. out of the, or, you know, but then I'm like, what if I wanted to like shut the door? And like make it so it doesn't open. Then I have to think about shutting the door. And but if I had something like Spider Man, Spider Web stuff, I'd just be like, shh, shh, and then like shoot spider webs on the wall or whatever, and like just like leave stuff there. You know what I mean? Trying so to like a Roomba. So like, <laughs> like a really. Sort of like a really unathletic Spider-Man, yeah. like just a, just, yeah. a, just a stationary Spider-Man. Yes. Spider-Man without the parkour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not swinging or anything like that. And then I was like, okay, what about like earlier while we were talking about this? I was like, well, what if I had you know the ability to like fly or something? I'm like, I could like finally like get up on the roof and like get that piece of shingle down or whatever it is up there without having to. <laughs> get a ladder out you know what i mean like that's <laughs> clean the gutters and not have to worry about oh hang the christmas lights would be oh cool. there you, know you go I mean? like, <laughs> yeah. fly flying but has a max uh ceiling of about 30 <laughs> like, feet yeah, or, 30 so. Feet like, or yeah. so we'll have to see when you're gonna be doing that I'll talk yeah about that later <laughs> yeah. yeah daddy what's your what's yeah. your uh i got power? the best one you guys suck I want Wolverine's powers because I want, you know, you always get the box from Amazon. Zip. <laughs> you always get those plastic formed uh, containers that you can't get in there with the scissors. But if you already had zip, then woo, there you go. What I else? thought for sure you were going to say like slicing a sandwich into three quarters or and something then, like that. Or like yeah, opening uh, a bag of potato you, chips or something. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a clean cut. Like that that way you can, you know. But and then when you go to open a letter and you get a paper cut, you heal right away. It doesn't hurt. So, well, well, like, you know, are we talking healing or are we talking claws? That's you know, you're I talking said two Wolverine different powers. superpowers. That's this claws ain't it. superpower. That's that's healing factor and adamantium claws. That's two. Well, you he, gotta pick one. No, well, yeah, you gotta claws, pick. Yeah, definitely. you get no. You get in those paper cuts because you want those claws to open bubble packaging. I get cuts when I open the damn claws. <laughs> And to be able to flip somebody off with the middle claw, that would be cool. Is there a power? Which is canon, going, by the way. That's yeah, canon. Yeah, canon. <laughs> is there a superpower where, like, you just go deaf when people talk about nerd stuff? Because that would, like, sign me no. up for that one. Like, that's a villain just power. Just like, I that's a, that's actually every button on this did, podcast. I didn't hear a word you guys said because I'm. That's deaf. actually that's a superpower that every man has. Yeah, <laughs> so just, like just turn it <laughs> off. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We had We're this conversation. So well. Did we? <laughs> Are you sure <laughs> I was there? I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. I, don't know what you're I never about. said that. I never mm -hmm. said that. Never happened. Uh, I didn't That's not it. canon. But yeah, mm -hmm. and it comes Christmas is coming. You can open up all your presents. Zip to these zip zap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which <laughs> leads us into our next segment with yeah. Daddyo <laughs> talking about Christmas. And by the way, don't don't be hanging your Christmas lights up before November first. And if you do, oh, I wait. No, okay, wait. Let me. I I, I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget it. There you go. First yeah. of all, well, Halloween's passed, but October first to the thirty first, all Halloween movies, whatever. You know, you get your hay bales, corn corn stalks, and put your pumpkins out there. That you can still use that for Thanksgiving, which is coming up in November. In the uh, last two weeks, maybe put up, you know, the, the the scarecrows and the skeletons and stuff. And fine. November 1st hits. Leave the hay bales 
leave the corn stalks, you know, the, and get some gourds because gourds are more Thanksgiving than uh, gourds. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen a gourd. Or, or, no, wait, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I've no, seen you've gourds. seen a gourd. Cornucopia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. cornucopia. Yeah, that's, that's I don't a think, Thanksgiving thing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever yeah. actually seen a real one of those. Is that a Even real plant? None of that's uh, what a cornucopia. No, that's a yeah. basket. It's like a basket. Oh, it's yeah. a basket. See the yeah, ones it's I've like that horn-looking look like, basket. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a. It was something that was woven. I assumed that that was like yeah. some sort of a plant that was dried. No. Cornucopias don't occur naturally <laughs> oh. in nature. Well, because like the only time <laughs> I've ever seen of. one, was, like, the only time I think I've ever seen one That's was always great. on like the you know the coloring sheet for like the, yeah. the oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they'd have the, the 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 coloring contest at the mall, and like they'd sure, always your give place you the, mad at Bob Evans for yeah, coloring a, waiting for breakfast. Yeah, a cornucopia yeah. on it. I just assumed that was some sort of a a horn plant trace your hand a dried it. some sort of dried fruit or melon it's, it that is, had been hollowed out and stuffed with turkey up. stuff it's got a little oh. twist at the end the, like, yeah that's what i mean yeah like I didn't realize it <laughs> so those are for here's the thing i, so, I realized it hang on real quick i yeah daddy was like the like the guy that would know all these things too because for those of you that don't know he looks just like santa claus so like you have to take this like seriously yeah, these these well, dates yeah. and times. So yeah. just continue. I mean, and then there's different. You know, I grew up in a different time, so there's specific <laughs> times when you have <laughs> Halloween. Then there is a Thanksgiving holiday that everybody forgets on November first, and then some store. Well, if you're going to go by the retail stores, they're putting Christmas stuff up a week before Halloween here. Mm-hmm. I've seen it here. Oh, it's been up for over a month here. And yeah. that's just to get people to buy stuff. That's really what you want on Christmas. It's not me- meant to be that, but it is now. So, um, and then what I say, the Christmas music, eh, November 1st. No, Normally, we would have it like after Thanksgiving, every station plays nothing but Christmas songs. But come here. I know in Michigan, there's two stations that play 24 hours of Christmas music. And that's oh, yeah. fine, too, because I can avoid those stations. But when you get well, all the stations playing, like, uh-huh. here's a Christmas song on every fourth song, it's getting too much. It, yeah. you got to think about Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. because I don't do think Thanksgiving. Mariah Carey even emerges from her cave oh. until November 1st. So, and like, that's usually when Christmas when music When does she starts. leave? She comes out. It's December 26th. Yeah, she goes back in her hole. So play. so the question is, when does everybody start putting up holiday stuff here? Because right, I right. put it right away. Right after Halloween, Marianne and I are popping up all the holiday stuff. We got our stockings up. We got the little reindeer things, the whatever, the statues and stuff. We got wreaths up. We, the only thing we don't have up right now is the Christmas tree, but that's coming soon. She better not put it up before. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's, Christmas that's, trees, that's, that'd be Christmas my call there. trees are a day after Thanksgiving. If you put it up mm-hmm. before, then you are a wicked person. Because oh, it, might, it might be going up. Don't. Mm-hmm. So if you have people over for Thanksgiving and there's Christmas tree there, they're going to they're gonna get confused. Is this Thanksgiving <laughs> or is it Christmas? I, I don't know. Because we eat as much at Christmas. They show up for Thanksgiving and they're saying, what the hell holiday is this? Yeah, yeah exactly. This tree. <laughs> well, hang on. What if you have the same tree from last year and it's just all brown now? So it kind yeah, of gives you, you that Thanksgiving down. vibe, you know? Oh, like the there dead, you go. dead needles and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, you, you do, do, you have your, do you have your old tree? Is that what you're saying to me right just now? A, you're just a pile of leaves yeah. laying <laughs> in the middle of the living room. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. here's why I, I, I figure outdoor lights can go up whenever the weather is nice, as long as you don't turn them on until. No, wait, are you are you breaking down every oh, yeah. like element oh, yeah. of the yeah, holiday the season? I don't have the uh, coolest subject, but you know, you guys have got oh Spider Man. He's ba- he's giving I you got... he Santa over here is giving you a list of when you can put your Christmas lights <laughs> yeah. up in your tree. And if you don't follow it, you're going to be on a list. Oh, you're going to yeah. get coal oh, in your stocking. It's not going to be the good boy list. Or I, I list. even have it written here. Absolutely no trees until after Thanksgiving. My God. So I live in a neighborhood where disagree. people have been putting up permanent Christmas <laughs> lights. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, oh, that's helpful, and so, though. Extremely expensive. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. someone's been quoted $9,000 to do their house, right? <laughs> um, however, they changed the light colors all throughout the year 
So for That's Halloween, cool. they had like orange and red and they get, they do dancing, you know, stuff and all kinds. Of, so now you've got Thanksgiving and people have them on all the time, all year long, actually. That's so, actually cool. Is it red, white and blue on 4th of yep, July? Yeah, you can do red, That's white. Awesome. You can do whatever color you want. You can do just white so that you can illuminate your house and like can land... Illuminati. Walmart delivery drones on your yard if you want to. That's oh, yeah, a little, that'll, that'll, that's, that's a little like, overboard, I feel. That's yeah, so that's I, totally acceptable. I've been thinking about getting the 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 permanent Christmas lights just to illuminate the house. So. Yeah, price is a little. It's I'm not gonna can't do you, the I'm gonna install them wish? myself. Yeah. I'm gonna do I'm gonna install them myself as opposed the to paying wish. some LED guy light. nine grand to do it. So. Yeah. Is it now the like problem the, is, um, is I can't fly. Let's go back to that topic. (laughs) What I was gonna say is, in the you know the the Grinch movie, the you know they have that uh, they have that like little cannon. Yeah, (laughs) they just shoot them onto the house. Oh yeah. (laughs) They have it on a reel. It's like the one guy, one uh, person with a machine gun, Mm -hmm. and it's on a reel. But that's fine. Just don't yeah. turn them on until November first. I'm I'm going to go ahead and disagree uh, on that. Uh, I didn't the, ask you to agree or disagree. Okay. I, I'm going to go Apparently ahead and say whatever the weather permits. You That's know, when I, you start getting yeah. Yeah, yeah, whenever you get around Halloween and it's if it's like still like in the 70s, 60s, put those suckers yeah. up. Yeah, yeah put the them weather. up. As long as the weather's nice, you so you don't have to be out there in uh, sleety, icy snow, which I have done a couple of times. But just don't – you can put them up there. Just don't turn them on before Halloween is over. Yeah, we typically Unless don't decorate Halloween. outside. I mean, she'll hang a wreath yeah. on the door, yeah. but, like, we typically don't – I don't put Christmas lights up. It's a pain in the ass. It's – there's – you got to get on yeah, a ladder does. and all that stuff. I'm just like, eh. I don't do heights. I do it. There's bushes. You know, you know what I do every year? I have a uh, I have a blow-up of the Grinch. Oh. oh. So I put the Grinch in the front yard. And then he's got one string of lights going from his sack up to the gutter. So it just looks like he stole all my Christmas lights. And then I'm done. Oh, that's pretty so good. he's he's like tucking Love things this. into his sack is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's tucking his sack okay. and then, oh, and then yeah. he moves on. Huge sack or a little sack? <laughs> giant. Giant sack. <laughs> giant so he's group. got a strand of lights coming from his sack to the house. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, hmm. yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, so creative. Anything. That's yeah. I like that. Yeah. And he's tucking his sack. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm with Daddyo. Our tradition is we have Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then we spend that Black Friday since it's like one of the mm-hmm. few days we're all home together, setting up the tree and the the decorations yeah. around the house. How do you yeah, do that. that if you're standing in line outside of a Kohl's or a Walmart at 6 a.m.? Because now Black Friday is all month long. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. I'm, already, I'm already doing it's, Black Friday <laughs> yeah. shopping. It's four Black weeks Friday to November. Black Friday happened in July. That, that already, <laughs> that's already come and gone. That's why you do it after Thanksgiving. you got to have Thanksgiving dinner at like 4. Mm-hmm. That way you got like two hours of you know eating and settling. Then yeah, who needs to settling? eat for two hours? And then I guess at five o'clock, or you know, four or five. So you six o'clock, at you start. Four, you're done by five. You take your two hour nap. You wake up yeah. at seven. You start hanging decorations for the next holiday. Yeah, seven. And then it's seven to 11. And then that gives you time to get to the store before midnight. But now, you know, sometimes now they're starting at eight. So just, you know, figure it out. Everything goes up after Thanksgiving, you know, the tree, everything else. So, uh, last last couple of years, I've been putting that tree up probably before Thanksgiving, just because um, I, I I enjoy the like happy the the glow of the lights, the positivity, the whole vibe of holiday season. I love it Is all. Is this an so. Oprah podcast? What the hell's going on? Yeah, I I love yeah. it. I love I feel all like of it. Up north too, it's easier to get away with that because of the cold weather. Yeah. yeah, very true. Because it was snowing on Halloween, yeah. and we were yeah. like in a full blizzard going trick or treating. Yeah. Whereas it was, here it was yeah. eighty five today. So well, last week it was <laughs> oh. thirty two here on Halloween, and today it's eighty two. And I'm like, yeah. come on, man! Like, yeah, Halloween yeah. the leaves just started falling in our neighborhood. No, and then the next day, the morning, there was snow inside <laughs> the leaves out on the lawn. <laughs> it's oh. Like, what? I, 
I always hated, I always hated like when dad didn't, you know, my dad worked during the day or, or he worked third shift. My mom worked during the day. And like, you know, as a kid, you want to go outside and build that snowman. Right. But there's, there's leaves underneath all that. Yeah. Snow, and then, mm-hmm. and a snowman and or a leaf infested snowman yep. just looks. Mm-hmm. And it like, doesn't hold together. It looks as well. Yeah. You try, like, you try to build and it's like oh, all brown and, and it's muddy. just got the brown yeah, like, and the mm-hmm. leaves hanging out of it. It just looks like a homeless snowman. No. Oh no! It's just awful. Oh yeah. <laughs> like so. All right, and then to end it up, it said when to te- take the uh, the stuff down, like the tree and the lights. And- oh yeah. How soon after Christmas do you take? Yeah, it down? just whenever you yeah. get a chance, man. Hell, I, I remember going to my mom and dad's in June one year, and they had just the stem <laughs> of their artificial tree in the middle of the, of the living room still. Oh my! Not God. the not the leaves, just the post. Like they took all the leaf <laughs> things off and put them away, and then forgot to put the post in there. So that thing oh. sat there. I think until Christmas. Like it sat there for a full year. Like, like a fair. festivus pole. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I think I think for us, like the tree goes down right after Christmas, but the holiday stuff can stay up, like the lights and stuff. I feel like till the end of February, it, it, it gives you that window whenever you want to take it down. But like once you pass February, then you're starting to get into spring it's and then it's long. a little skeptical. Josh, I hangs, think two weeks after is a little bit pushing it. Josh hangs Valentine's presents on his tree. In oh no! I, I I love the lights. I, I'm a I'm a light fiend. I I'll, I will keep those suckers up as long as I can. Yeah, I don't know. My see, my whole thing is you've got Christmas on the 25th, and then you you know that you're off New Year's Day. If yeah. those lights and everything isn't down by New Year's Day, that's never coming down until the spring. Yeah. You're just never gonna go out there and do it. You're never you're going to you're not going to spend your weekend outside in the cold taking down lights. You're just going to wait until the the weather turns. It's it's yeah, it's just a window, you know? It's just a window. Yeah. Just just yeah. a window, but max max end of February, you know? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> oh, that's way too especially late. especially that's with Michigan. Michigan, you never know what you're going to get, right? Mm-hmm. You, like you, like just one day and I feel like, you know, you guys live in close to Chicago and, and whatnot, you, you understand, like it gets, the, the weather gets crazy. And sometimes yeah. like even in January, February, you could have like 50, 50 degrees, 60 degree days sometimes. And then it goes right back to snowing yeah. the next day. So it's like, th- as long as you got that window, you know, you got that window that, that you gotta have that window. You know what I mean? No, it, no. But, okay. I, I'll shut give that you this. Window. <laughs> it, it, I, I'm okay. If you keep, the like lights and stuff outside because you don't want to take them down don't turn them on anymore yeah if you're turning them on <laughs> yeah. in january and february that is a severe problem yeah See, mine, mine are plugged I judge into those people um, very harshly <laughs> mine are plugged into like my outside house light mm-hmm. so i got like a little adapter and stuff that goes right there, and then the lights right under it so anytime i turn on the outside light that goes on Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I haven't like put like outside plugs on there so we haven't had those installed on the outside yet so it just goes right to our outside light so whenever we turn that oh. thing on it goes on like christmas vacation plug it in. and they turn <laughs> yeah. on the garage light and it turns on the yeah. whole thing he's got mm-hmm. like 15 oh, yeah. different plugs yeah in, in, nice they're blowing on it one and stuff. outlet yeah oh, wait. Great that's definitely a topic we'll uh plugged in just yeah, unplug we'll your outside lights too. We'll be we'll be discussing Christmas movies and stuff when the time comes. But man, yeah, those yeah, what a great movie. But the tree, no, not February. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's that, you're you're mentally. Uh, no, no, out. not the tree. I'm saying the lights, the lights. Just don't. The yeah, tree comes down right around. after Christmas, but the lights when you we, got that window for February. February. So we used Ours. to get real trees uh, and. I swear we get them in the first of December and they'd be dying by Christmas. So mommy O decides she can throw that stuff out after we open the presents. So our trees our live trees. We throw them out to the curb the same day, like at one o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon. Nice. Ours stays up at least until January 7th because it's Eastern Orthodox Christmas. Oh well, yeah. That's so fine. we're we're. I mean, if you have January, other things like that, like yeah. that's that's Christmas is January seventh. I don't mind, you know, the tree being it, the tree could be a, the latest a tree should be up is maybe a week after New Year's. Because you know you don't want to. <laughs> <New Year's. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's January, but 
you don't want to be doing that tree when you're on New Year's Day because you go out partying the night before. Oh yeah, you it'd be so much partying. Drag the, the rest of the week yeah, along. Yeah, so Lucky to make it to eleven thirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm so. sure that New Year's rolls around. I'll probably be sitting here with you guys at right. midnight. <laughs> it's like, Pod- right, podcasting, hell more yeah. More than All once. Honestly. So yeah, I'm eating, sure. Eating moonshine pickles. We'll be streaming on TikTok or something. Well, we got so we got one more segment for for this episode, and it is our uh, this this one's going to be fun because we used to do this in our our former underdog shows, which which I love doing is the crazy news story of the day. Just the wildest things that we can come up with and find on the internet. And this one, um, I think everybody will enjoy, well, kind of, the, the story itself. So there is a Chinese beer company named Tsingtao. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's, I believe so. Yeah. Which describes itself as the sixth largest global beer maker. And they said that they saw their shares tumble after a video of a man urinating in the vat <laughs> emerged online, yeah. um, the company came out to say, at present, the batch of malt in question has been completely sealed. <laughs> the company continues to strengthen its management and procedures and ensure product quality. And uh, I believe this is a, maybe a Chinese social media uh, website, Weibo. There was a user on there that said, I've always said... The beer here is like horse pee. Ah. Um, <laughs> How did he know what horse I, pee the tastes thing like? thing I'm questioning most about this entire story is that their comment is, don't worry, it's been completely sealed. Why are you That's saving it? <laughs> What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> yeah. What is what is the long term hey. plan with this sealed off <laughs> vat of urine beer? <laughs> it's, hey, I didn't thought the, uh, isn't there like a uh, like a Spanish like recipe or something? Maybe like South American recipe for uh, I think it's called chicha, where they actually like spit these like kernels and stuff out to make a certain kind of beer or something like that. Chicha. So, no, no, wait, you're it, talking about the monk, chicha, the coffee it? monkeys. It's, yeah, uh, I think no. it's chicha. No, you're no, talking no, no, about no, the no, monkeys no, no, no. that eat the, no, the coca monkeys. beans and poop not them out. Monkeys. Monkey poop coffee. No, they are chicha. some kind of cat that eats them and they don't die. They digest them halfway and then they go pick up sure out of the poop. Monkeys? Yeah. Yeah. Chicha. Bucket yeah. Bucket list too. Chicha is uh, is yeah, it's a Latin American in, thing, in and the they thing. they chew up these uh, the, uh, the barley or whatever the barley. They chew yeah. it up and they spit it into a container, and then they like filter it through something, and that that's how they come up with their corn beer. Yeah. It's corn beer. So I'm thinking like maybe if they sealed yeah. the vat that the guys peed in, maybe they could make some kind of no, Chinese no, no, chicha. No. But with urine. <laughs> no. In fact, that chicha nope. dogfish head, they, they had a, like a six-part series of them making beer, and that was one of the beers they made. So they passed out all this, uh, the whatever, the barley or whatever they use for the sugar. It's actually the sugar thing. So, But your mouth your mouth acids breaks down the sugar, and they have you spitting it. You, you put the stuff in your mouth, and then you spit it out in a cup. So they, you know. But it was Dogfish Head Brewery that made the. It was just like for the local people. But they had, they had like a whole episode on that, and and I remember it was yeah. just like these old ladies sitting around and a thing. Oh yeah, they're they just chewing and spitting. They had everybody <laughs> in in the company or every employee in the company sit down whenever they went to break. You know, sit down there or you know the people in the office they you know whenever they had a time where they could do that and do that and they made a batch and uh because okay the that part's sugar and then it gets boiled until and it gets boiled so it's not really gonna hurt you so they figured so, it all out so. so what you're saying is the pea beer would work if they just boiled it. i'm not sure oh, about great. that <laughs> great Boil that's why they it sealed totally it fine because they're like, There's, wait a second, a, we could use this later on. We'll come well, back to it see, once everything's calmed down. Because it's <laughs> sterile and I like the taste. Yeah, He's, you can so drink it three times. The quote that that guy had said, you missed a part of it. Oh, it says, I've always said the beer here is like horse pee. 
turns out I was wrong. Oh <laughs> gosh. It's not so horse he was pee. wrong. It's it not, horse, wrong. Horse, it's not pee. horse. It's human. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's human. It is pee. pee just turns not out horse pee. Yeah. I was wrong. That's actually kind of you know that's kind of that's funny. even better. <laughs> it's <laughs> even better. Oh god, this. Oh yeah. Oh, Brewmasters Would you... was the name of the show. If you want to go watch. Great. It. Yeah, great show. And and yeah, that was a that was a really good episode. I like that. So that's our crazy news story of the day. Of the day. And that about wraps it up. Um, how about some final thoughts? Let's uh, let's go with Daddyo for the final thoughts of this episode. Huh? Anything final on your mind? What? Anything? <laughs> it's too See, much. I tell you, I, I come there. up with stuff when people don't ask me questions, and when you ask me, I have no clue of what to say. In conclusion, but, but In con- okay, yeah. so okay, here's the final thought: If you put your damn Christmas lights up <laughs> and have them on. Before Thanksgiving's over, I'm driving over to your house and ripping them down. Okay, he's How's real that? adamant about the about the Christmas lights and the Christmas tree. <laughs> Let's enjoy a Thanksgiving holiday. You know, don't put the Christmas stuff up till after Christmas. Enjoy the turkey. Although they didn't have turkey on Thanksgiving, they had squid and and corn and, and a lot of seafood. Some other, yeah, fish. And... How about How Steve? About... The last thoughts of the episode here. Uh, today I learned that. Uh, Daddy O is a genius unless you put him on the spot. <laughs> Wax <True>. about you. <laughs> um, he was going to say that. You got it. <laughs> I beat him to it. <laughs> that, no, I wasn't going to say that. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I guess this is it. This is it here. It's it is it is the, a thing. Uh, don't say so. It. <laughs> don't it, say that. What? It, it is what it is. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's it's come to fruition, <laughs> um, and uh, here we are. So it's the start of a very long journey, um, and uh, yeah, we're we're here along for the ride, I guess. It's gonna be a great, great ride too. A lot of, especially if, if you enjoyed this first episode, just I mean, just hit that follow button on whatever platform you're listening to. Subscribe, so, like, do all that right. stuff, because there's gonna be so much more of this, and, and it's just gonna be the stuff you want us to talk about too. Again, like, yeah, that's our that's crazy takes on stuff. If you want to hear more daddy rants, let us know what you want to hear yeah. them rant about. If you want to sign up for our. Uh mailing list on whofartacrew.com he will send you a personalized email oh god <laughs> angrily it's just an angry yeah just personalized angry emails to you <laughs> but yeah we have uh we have a whole bunch to come uh hopefully you guys stick around with us stick along for the ride because this is gonna be fun we get this show is, is really gonna be just a casual talking show just just a comedic thing that you could get together and have some fun talking about all different segments so that's all we got for the first episode of Smell That. Is it everything you hope for? Remember <sighs> to join the conversation in the comment section, which Steve talked about, if, of whatever platform you're listening on. If you're on YouTube and you're watching this as well, make sure you jump in the comment section. Or head over to our socials using whofartedcrew.com and tag us with your thoughts about each segment of the episode. Maybe, maybe you think your Christmas lights should stay on all the time. Like a whole year round. Maybe you're one of those people. That's fine. Daddy will just left. He's out. Okay. So I'm driving to your house right now. He's 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 doing it. He's leaving. There he goes. Until next time. Hey, keep ripping them and don't tell anyone it was you. It don't smell like cakes. Peace.